Hello and welcome back to Anton Math. Now in this video we're going to be finishing up with our law of sines. We're going to be looking at case 2 triangles, SSA. Now SSA triangles we sometimes call the ambiguous case. We call it this because a triangle of case 2 may have one solution, two solutions, or no solutions. So we're going to do several examples in this video so we can try to get a good grasp of identifying which of these cases it's going to be. Is it going to have one solution, two solutions, or no solutions? So let's take a look at a few of these examples and see what happens. So first, let's solve the triangle ABC where angle A equals 45 degrees, side A equals 7 root 2, and side B equals 7. So first, it's always useful to draw out our triangle, so let's draw a little triangle here. Let's call this my angle A. We have that angle A is 45 degrees. We'll call this angle B up at the top, angle C to the right. So we have that side A, which is going to be over here, is 7 root 2. And side B, which is our base, is 7. So we need to solve angle B, angle C, and side C. So first, we're going to find angle B. When you're given a problem of this type, this SSA, you always want to find an angle first, and you'll know which angle to find because it's going to be the only angle that we already know the corresponding side to, the only unknown angle that we already know the corresponding side to. So finding angle B, first we'll use our law of sines. We know that sine of angle A, or 45 degrees, over side A, or 7 root 2, is equal to sine of B over side B, which is 7. This gives me that sine of B is equal to 7 sine of 45 degrees over the square root of 2, or sorry, over 7 square root of 2. This means that, simplifying a little bit, sine of b is equal to, the 7's cancel, sine of 45 degrees is square root of 2 over 2. And the bottom we just have this square root of 2, and this simplifies down to 1 half. Now, sine of b equals 1 half, that means that I'm going to have that angle B is equal to 30 degrees or notice we have another possibility here angle B could be equal to 150 degrees 150 degrees is less than 180 so it's a potential candidate for the inside angle of a triangle and sine of 150 is the same as sine of 30 they both equal one half but notice that in this case I already have an interior angle of 45 degrees and if I look at the possibility of 150 being angle B plus 45 degrees it's going to be equal to 195 degrees isn't it and this is distinctly greater than 180 degrees so that means that angle B cannot be 150 degrees. If angle B is 150, then just these two angles, A and B, are going to be bigger than 180, and we know that's not possible because the sum of all three angles should equal exactly 180. So angle B is going to equal 30 degrees. Now this is the case in the ambiguous case triangle that we have exactly one solution. We'll see that if there's no solutions, we'll get some other kind of contradiction. And if we have two solutions, both of these potential candidates for angle B are going to be possible. So here, only one of our angle Bs is possible, and this is going to give us our single solution. Now, if angle B is 30 degrees, remember I still need two more pieces of information. We see here angle B is 30 degrees. Now I just need angle C and side C. Angle C is pretty easy to find. I already have two other angles, so this is going to be 180 degrees minus my two other angles, so minus 45 degrees. 
and minus 30 degrees. So that gives me that my angle C is going to be 105 degrees. Now solving for side C, we're going to set up our law of sines uh, ratio. Let's use sine of 30 degrees over 7. So this is my sine of B over B. This is equal to sine of C, which is sine of 105 degrees over little c. And then solving for C, this is going to give me C equals 7 sine of 105 degrees over sine of 30 degrees. Now later we're going to learn how to find angles like 105 degrees, but since we haven't learned that yet, we go ahead and plug this into our calculator and this gives us about 13.5. So we have our three missing pieces of information. Side C is 13.5, angle B is 30 degrees, and angle C is 105 degrees. So we have solved the triangle. We now have all six pieces of information. Now let's take a look at another example. Let's say I want to solve the triangle ABC where angle A equals 42 degrees, side A is 70, and B is 122. So drawing this out real quick. Let's call this my A, so this is 42 degrees. My side A then is 70. I don't know angles B and C. I know that side B is 122 and side C is unknown, so we'll call that little c. So first, again, the thing we always want to look for first in the ambiguous case, we want to find the angle opposite the side that is known, but the angle is unknown. So again, that's going to be angle B. So our first step is always to solve angle B uh, with this setup. So angle B, looking at this, I can set up my law of sines equation. I have that sine of A, or in this case sine of 42 degrees, over side A, which is 70, is equal to sine of B over 122. This gives me that sine of B is equal to 122 sine of 42 degrees over 70. Now if you plug this into your calculator you get that this is equal to about 1.17. Now what happens if we have sine of an angle equals 1.17? Well this isn't possible is it? We know that the range of our trig function sine is negative 1 to 1. So this triangle has no solutions. In other words, there is no triangle that has angle A42, side A70, and side B122. This is not going to be possible and still get a triangle. You could have some of these angles and sides, but it's going to end up being some kind of uh, rhombus, quadrilateral, something like that. We need an extra side there. These corners are going to be too far apart with the information we're given. Okay, so this is the ambiguous case where we have no solutions. Again, the key to knowing if we have one solution, two solutions, or no solutions is all about the angle opposite the side that we're given where that angle is unknown. This angle will give us the information we need as to how many solutions we should be looking for. All right, let's look at one more example of this ambiguous case. Solve ABC where angle A is 43.1 degrees side A is 186.2 degrees and side B is 248.6 degrees. Okay, so drawing our triangle, this is my angle A. We have 43.1 degrees. We'll call this my angle B. This is my angle C. My side A is 186.2. My side B is 248.6 and my side C is unknown. So first thing we always do, we look at angle B. Now it's not always going to be labeled B, but we're looking at the angle that is unknown 
which is opposite the side that we know. And this is the first thing we always look at. Now setting up our law of sines, we get that sine of b over 248.6 is equal to sine of a or sine of 43.1 degrees over my side a which is 186.2 this gives me that sine of b is equal to 248.6 times sine of 43.1 degrees all over 186.2 now plugging this into your calculator this gives me that sine of B is about equal to 0 0.91225 0 0.91225 now if we take sine inverse of both sides of this we get by sine inverse my angle B is about equal to sine inverse of 0.91225 which turns out to be about 65.8 degrees now we have 65.8 degrees but remember we have another candidate as well um, just a little aside taking a look at our coordinate plane if this is 65.8 degrees here 180 minus 65.8 degrees would be right about here and notice that I repeat my y values in other words I have a sine value in quadrant 2 equal to every sine value in quadrant 1 for some angle in quadrant 2. Now the way that we find this angle in quadrant 2 is we take 180, one full rotation, minus uh, the angle in quadrant 1. So in other words, my other possibility is that B is equal to 180 degrees minus the B I already found, which is 65.8 degrees which gives me a possible V of about 114.2 degrees. Now how do we check if this large number is a possibility? Well, I'm just going to add it to whatever other angles I already have for my triangle. If the sum of angle B and the angle I already have is less than 180, then this B is a valid potential candidate for the solution. And notice that 114.2 plus 43.1 is equal to 157.3 which is less than 180. So we have two values for B that are both going to give us triangles. In other words, this is our two solution case. We're going to have two different triangles. Now we're going to label these differently. When we give our solution, if we have two potential candidates, we're going to call one of them A1, B1, C1 and we'll call the other one A2, B2, C2. That way when we find all our answers we differentiate with this little index 1. So first let's let A1, B1, C1 be the triangle where angle B1 is equal to 65.8 degrees. Okay. Now if angle B1 is 65.8 then angle C1 is going to be 180 minus B1 minus A1 which is just A so we get that our angle C is 71.1 degrees now solving for C we'll have that sine of 71.1 degrees over side C is equal to, and um, let's go ahead and use A here, sine of 43.1 degrees 
over my side A, which is 186.2. This gives me that my side C is equal to 186.2 times sine 71.1 divided by sine of 43.1 which is about equal to 257.8 Now I messed up a little bit. I actually want little c index 1 here, don't I? So my c index 1 is 257.8 So let me go ahead and compile this in so we can work on our other triangle. I'm going to get rid of this work here but just make sure you have written down how we found this information Okay, now solving our second triangle, we're going to call it A2, B2, C2. Here we're choosing our second possible angle of B, so we'll call it B2, and we found this to be 114.2 degrees. This gives me that angle C2, this is going to be 180 degrees minus 114.2 degrees minus 43.1 degrees which gives me an angle C of 22.7 degrees now finally solving for my little side C2 we're gonna set up our law of sines sine of 22.7 degrees over little C2 is equal to sine of 43.1 degrees over my little a, which is 186.2. This gives me that little c2 is equal to 186.2 times sine of 22.7 degrees, all divided by sine of 43.1 degrees. I'm plugging this into our calculator this gives us about 105.2 okay and we've solved the problem now we have two different triangles our angle B's are different, our angle C's are different, our side C's are different but both of these triangles have an angle A of 43.1 degrees a side A of 186.2 and a side B of 248.6 and this is the most difficult case of the ambiguous triangle but again, I cannot stress this enough, the key to figuring out what type of triangle it is is to first solve the angle that is unknown but is across from a side that is known. So here angle B is across from a side that is known, so I'm going to solve for angle B first. Depending on what this is, there will be one solution, two solutions, or no solutions. Alright, good luck on your homework, and in the next video we're going to be starting on our case 3 and case 4 triangles using the law of cosines. We'll see you there.